I'm very pleased that today, uh, because of the vaccine rollout, uh, we're able to say to people coming back from uh, anywhere in the EU, plus I think Switzerland, uh, plus the United States, that they don't have to, to quarantine. So double jab people uh, no longer have to, to quarantine. And what I want to do is uh, obviously understand that people care very much about their, their holidays. People want to go abroad. I understand how much people plan, prepare for uh, the, the summer holidays. Uh, but we've also got to remember that this is still a, a dangerous virus and that uh, we must try and stop variants coming in, must stop importing variants from abroad. So we have to have a balanced approach. And uh, what I want to see is a, something that is as simple and as user-friendly uh, for people as possible. But obviously, the, uh, the, the double vaccinations that uh, we've got really do offer uh, the way forward. I think we've now got more than 70, I think 72% of the population now, has now had two jabs. The UK is, uh, has been able to roll out vaccines at a pace that has you know, been, I think, pretty good. We've now vaccinated more than uh, people in any other country in, in Europe. And that means, actually, that the UK economy and society is just about the most open uh, in Europe. And you'll have seen the figures from the IMF, about growth in the UK, the, the bounce back that you're seeing in the UK economy that is directly attributable to that opening up and to that vaccine rollout. On travel, we've, we've had to balance it because of the anxiety that I think a lot of people have, I have, about uh, importing new variants, bringing back the disease. But we also have to recognise that people want uh, badly to go on their summer holidays. We need to get people, get, get the travel industry moving again. We need to get our city centres uh, open again. And so we want an approach that is as, as simple as, as we can possibly make it. I think that uh, Iran should uh, face up to the consequences of, uh, of what they've done, except that uh, the attribution that the Foreign Secretary has made, uh, this was clearly uh, an unacceptable and outrageous attack on uh, commercial uh, shipping. Uh, a UK national uh, died. Uh, it is absolutely... Uh, vital that Iran and every other country respects the freedoms of navigation around the world and uh, the UK uh, will continue to insist on that. Okay. It's very good news that uh, there's going to be a big new movie studio, film studio uh, at Broxbourne or Broxy Wood as I'm sure it's going to be uh, called soon by, uh, by, by, uh, by locals. It's, uh, but I think a testament really to the dynamism of the UK a creative culture, media sector. People uh, always want to make films in this country and it's increasing the whole time.